Okay, so we're on day two. Um, not fully done for today, but I'm taking this opportunity uh, to go over a couple of things. So I got the exhaust manifold off, the power steering pump removed, the turbocharger is completely out. Now it's kind of a little bit of a tricky thing to do this. Um, these bolts here can't be reached with the power steering pump in the place. So to remove the power steering pump, there's actually two bolts that you look through these little eyelets and you take those two bolts out and then you just kind of give it a tilt and a tug and it pops out see it's only retained right here and then to get access to this bottom bolt you have to take this off which is to undo these two bolts and these two bolts now you don't have to disconnect the coolant lines to do that um, if you're not quite at the point of draining your system yet but, um, yeah. And then you take off all of these bolts. Okay, and this one's a little tricky because you got the turbocharger in the way. And I believe this one's a little tricky for the same reason. It's just easier to take, in my opinion, it's easier to take the manifold off, disconnect the three bolts here, and take all the plumbing off the turbocharger, and then pull everything out as an assembly, and then hammered apart. Now you got two bolts down here that's the turbo stay bracket. You have to undo those two bolts. They are a 9 16 Same size as your exhaust studs and they use a 9 16 Well there's probably a metric equivalent but a 9 16 works. How about that? Um, now if you have the factory um, catalytic converter you got two more bolts down there that you'll have to release. They're right down there. And that's the uh, catalytic converter stay bolts. You have to take those out, which you can reach through here to get to. You don't even need to lift the car up. And then that will free this up to move around. And then it'll be supported by the downpipe and the, well, on mine, the O2 sensor lead. So I should probably tie that up somehow. Um, an interesting little note is something that nobody else seems to have mentioned when rebuilding their engine is that the exhaust manifold actually has a divided housing for the valve. So you got one valve here and you got another valve here and they actually come like that. So I'm going to have to look to see if they've got staggered, um, valve timing. So if the valves go down at the same time or if one opens and then the other because that changes the flow characteristics of uh, pretty much everything to do past your cylinder head but um, for those guys who are going to do some machine work on their cylinder head um, see this little dark ring you can port to that ring so you can increase it that much so that's about a quarter of an inch so you can increase your head a quarter of an inch I'd say safely because they're isn't anything in the way so that's quite a bit more flow out of the head I'll have to do some maths for you guys to figure out what exactly that is and down here you'll see uh, C C C C C B B B C those are if I'm correct the um, bearing codes so that's nothing to do with my build but just look for that that, sh that engraving should be there but I'll have to double check with the uh, service manual. Um, other than that, I mean that's pretty much what I've been working on. The coolant is draining. Now to drain the coolant, you see this little thing right here? You undo this until this hose starts leaking coolant. Then you can give it a little bit more and then you undo your rad cap and it'll keep draining. See. Um, now, make sure that if you're stopping for the night or whatever, that you do have something blocking the valves from getting direct exposure. You don't want sand or dust or anything in there. Uh, but once you get all this out, then you have free access to this bolt here. Now, this is the bolt that holds your motor this is your motor mount bolt so just got to undo that and then I'll be free to the motor mount 
or free of the motor mount. And then you got some tra uh, transmission bolt right there, right at the edge of that blue thing. Okay. Um, and then we have to take the rest of the transmission bolts out, and then we should be able to go over to this side and start pulling everything onto this side. Now, certain things need to be disconnected. If you're not going to be doing a complete job, um, like me, I'm leaving the uh, power steering pump, the AC uh, pump. Those are staying in the car. I don't want to disconnect them because then I have to refill the Freon and re-bleed the power steering, which I'm just doing the motor, so there's no need to do that. Um, oh, a little bit of a tidbit. You know, we were talking the other day about uh, this clip here was on that bracket, and I was saying how you'd have to undo the little base thing. Well, it turns out you don't. See, there's this little plastic clip uh, right there. Uh, put a screwdriver through the back, a flat blade, and then lift up and then push it out, and it just pops out. So no need to undo any of that complicated stuff. So this uh, this side of the engine bay, all the wiring's completely undone, and then we'll just have to do that side. So, uh, yeah. Continuing on, I guess. All right, so it's the end of the day, on day, still on day two, and uh, got, pretty sure I covered everything on this side. Went to this side, and we got all of that disconnected, um, got the intake manifold off, fuel rail staying the way it is, uh, PRW's sending me up a kit, and we're going to do that, and... Um, just a little bit of a tidbit advice piece is you don't actually need to remove this to get your intake manifold off. Um, sorry for the shaky camera, by the way, guys. Uh, I wanted to do this in HD, and the only thing that I have that does HD is my cell phone. So, either way, you don't need to get take this off to get to this nut. You just need to undo the bolt that's down there. Can't see it; it's too dark. And then this literally just pushes out of the way. And then it's it's undone. So um, valves are dirty as fuck. So when I have the head off, I'm gonna have to clean all the valves and everything. Just they're it's not super oily or anything like that, but uh, they are pretty dirty. I'm gonna have to do some research on how to get the alternator out because I've undone all the bolts that connect the alternator to anything, and it's still not coming out. So I'll see what Hyundai's guidelines on on this. Um, but for anybody who's curious, and you're doing uh, the big three upgrade for your audio, this nut here is where you tie on to, and it goes to this box, so it's just a little wire. Or this one goes back to your battery, I don't know. <clears throat> uh, um, pretty much all the electrical is off, the antifreeze is drained down, uh, I'm going to have to put a plug in there or something. Um, just got the ground strap on this to take off, and then we'll undo the bolt, which is down here. So sorry, you guys can't see this. I took too long today to do this. Um, intake manifold actually comes off pretty easy, but to be honest, I'm not sure if this is just a, something that everybody completely ignores. When you're taking this out, there is a hose that comes from here goes underneath, connects to a metal fitting underneath the uh, intake manifold, comes across, and then connects to here, to the this pipe here, and then goes into there. Nobody else seems to have mentioned that. So, thanks guys uh, for not mentioning that. But either way, that has to get undone, and it is rather a bitch to get undone. And can't really tell, but there is more indicators. See a bunch of stamp numbers, so I'm going to find out what that's all about. Uh, I'll have to look at it in the daytime. But um, to get all of this side undone is pretty much a 10, a 12, and a... Yeah, basically a 10 and a, a various 10 and 12 millimeter um, 
bolts that undo all of this. So to do undo this entire engine so far has only required basically like four or five different sizes, um, which has been pretty nice. But you do need several extensions and stuff like that. And I got different little tools and ticks and uh, tips and tricks that we'll go over at some point. The uh, this might be might be a little bit before the next video because uh, my engine hoist isn't here yet, so I have to get the engine hoist to undo this. Um, I'll have to take the engine out. We still have the transmission bolts to undo, so I guess there will be another video because we've got to undo the transmission bolts. And then we've got to undo the two bolts on each side and take off the other radiator hose. Um, I'm not undoing any of this to take the engine out. But to take the engine out, you, according to the other guys, you do have to take out your strut bar. So if you have a strut bar, you need to take that out. And you have to take the hood off. So to take the hood off, you release this clip, it pops off, you just screwdriver, and then you just pull back and this will pop off, and then you, you undo this, and take it and get it out of the way, and then you undo the two bolts here, and here, or over there, and you'll get the hood off. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much that for now. Uh, I think literally I've only got the AC. Oh, and we'll have to do a video on the AC, how to take the AC pump off, because that stays in the engine bay. Uh, we don't want to disconnect the AC. So I guess, yeah, we we got one more video, but uh, this is basically the progress on here. Now, if you guys got any questions, drop them in the thing below or ask them on, on the project page, uh, because... Uh, just in case I, I haven't covered anything and then while I'm at the stage I can cover it or I can come back and do another video explaining something or, or whatever um, make everybody happy all at once because as much as this build is for me these videos are for you guys um, to help you guys further along little things that you might get concerned with you guys get to see what what things look like when things are apart and I know these first two videos haven't been all that detailed um, and I'm mostly just covering it like this because honestly there's a lot of little things to do and I've been basically working on this for about six hours today on and off. Um, so yeah, that's this, that's the end of day two. And again, if you guys got anything you want to say, just add it on the thing at the bottom. Um, so, till next time.